group 9 cassiopeia so i am from chennai i am studying grade 8 So Cassiopeia is a double shaped constellation, and it also have a an a woman art. So now everyone will introduce themselves. Hello everyone, I am Sankal and of Grade Seven Amrita Vidyalayam, Chennai, and passing on to Drew. Hi guys, I am Dhruv K. Singh, studying in class four, and I am from Rajagiri Krishna Janthi Public School, and I am from Kochi. Passing to Nishan. My name is Nishal. I am studying in Delhi. Um, I am in Bangalore International. I am from Bangalore. Passing on to David. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So now I will say what is Cassiopeia. Okay. Basically, if you see the picture here, you can see that it's a W-shaped constellation. You can say it as it's just a W in the sky, but it's a constellation and it also have a meaning. So Cassiopeia is a northern constellation in the northern sky, named after the vain queen Cassiopeia, which is queen of Ethiopia. Was a queen of Ethiopia. It was found by second century Greek astronomer Ptolemy, and it remains one of the 88 modern constellations, which is found by International Astronomical Union. And it was also in the list of 48 Greek constellations which was used, and it is also found by Ptolemy. Fun fact: Cassiopeia is also mother of Andromeda. Because of this reason, Andromeda and Cassiopeia is actually like. The Ferris wheel, like how big Dipper and Cassiopeia are. So, right beneath Cassiopeia constellation, the Andromeda constellation is present there, and also the Andromeda galaxy is there. So, passing on to Nishal Shina. Uh, 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 hello, everyone. I'm Nishal. I'm going to talk about the clarity of. So, so from Alpha Center, the sun could be sun could be seen. Then uh, the sun can can be visible in Cassiopeia as a yellow white hypergiant, a magnitude of zero point five percent, far brighter than any other stars on the night sky. The famous W will be unchanged because it is much further away than than a Centauri. The sun would be an addition to it, so that it would be a zigzag pattern. Thank you. Over to Sankal. Hello everyone, I am Sankal, and today I'll tell you all the most interesting part of this presentation, which is how to find Cassiopeia in the night sky. So it's not visible all over our globe because it's mostly found in the northern part. So. For finding Cassiopeia, first you have to find the Polaris star. From the Polaris star, you will have to form the Big Dipper. Pro Polaris, then another star, then another star, then another star, another star, another star, and another star. So that will be your Big Dipper constellation. Then there will be a thin side and the thick side. The thick side would be at the back, and the thin side would be at the front. So the point from where the Polaris is, if the thick side is here, then it will point straight towards here. So Cassiopeia will be here. So wherever this thin part will point to, that Cassiopeia will be there. So now passing on to Dhruv. Sankar, and now I'm going to summarize the facts about Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia was first listed in the second century. Greek astronomer Ptolemy listed it among the forty-eight Greek constellations, but today it is among the eighty-eight modern constellations. Cassiopeia is named after the vain and boastful Queen Cassiopeia. 
in greek mythology it has a simple very recognizable shape of w and m cassiopeia is the 25th largest constellation in the night sky the brightest star in cassiopeia is scyra alpha cassiopeia is also known as gamma cassiopeia which reaches a magnitude of 1.6 gigahertz sometimes cassiopeia contains several open clusters young luminous galactic disk stars and nebulae the irregular galaxy ic10 is situated in cassiopeia cassiopeia is found in the northern hemisphere all year long at latitudes between 90 degrees and minus 20 degrees thank you all so now i'll tell you guys a bonus fact from drew's side so when you have found cassiopeia with big dipper if you are exactly on the north pole you will be seeing them going around the center dancing together well it's actually not dancing they are orbiting that center but actually they are not orbiting as we rotate on our axis it seems like they are orbiting a center so thank you and Uh, so yeah, if you guys don't know what are our members, it's Nishal, Drew, Tamira, myself, and Jayamitra. So thank you. Oh. Thank you all.